So, who's rational and who's irrational? This is the question. Don't be fooled. We need anthropology too. We need to study these beasties just like they study us. You see, let's get into their psychology. Let's see how they think. Why is it they don't have number 13 in their elevators? I mean, did you ever think of that? <laughs> Those irrational Muslims. <laughs> you, I've been in Saudi Arabia, there's number 13. We don't have a problem with 13, what's your problem? Uh, well, uh, well uh, let me think about that. <laughs> you know? Uh, devil's number. Devil's number? Well, Jesus was one and he had 12 disciples. One plus 12, that equals 13. Was he a, a devil? <laughs> I mean, seriously. See, we fall into these traps of believing all this false dialectic. Now, why? Because we don't have uh, intellectual tradition anymore. We've become people that really tend not to think like everybody else, which is unfortunate and has its own interpretations. But I wanted to, I got off on a, uh, now where was I before that, when I brought up the, do you remember? <laughs> you're supposed to, that's what the chairman's for. You're, you're supposed to be following, and then you give a summary and... No, oral thing, that was the beginning. I've gone to <laughs> He's thinking he's only got 15 minutes left. <laughs> where was who? Where was I? Because I went into something and I didn't want to 